In this video, you will see what is the top 10 must-have units in Anime Reborn. Every unit in this video are all obtainable. I do want to know what do you think is the best unit in Anime Reborn. Remember to subscribe and like. And with that being said... In no particular order, the first must-have unit is Brolio Rage. Brawly is one of the best hybrid mythical unit with his insane damage and he is hybrid on placement. Brolio Rage's stats at max upgrade and max level are 3890 damage with his SPA at 8.06 seconds making his damage per second at 496.15 which is insanely good especially he becomes fully UE at later upgrades with insane passives. Brolio Rage's first passive Legendary Rage he will gain 1% range each attack up to 20% boost. Brolio's Rage's second passive Legendary's Wrath. His damage will increase by 1% each attack up to 50% boost. Alright, next in is Hawkeye's Warlord. Mihawk is the strongest unit against bosses especially with his insane passive and damage at later upgrades. Hawkeye's Warlord starts a max upgrade and max of R. 3310 damage with this SPA at 4.52 seconds, making his damage per second at 732.30, which is extremely good with his great passive. Hawk Eyes Passive Warlord 2, he will deal 250% more damage against bosses, which is currently the best boss killer unit in Anime Reborn. Okay, next in is Itabushi. Itachi is currently the best burn unit with his strong passive and great damage in Anime Reborn. Itahabushi stats a max upgrade and max level R, 4460 damage with his SPA at 7.37 seconds making his damage per second at 605.15 which is extremely strong especially with his insane passives and later upgrades as he becomes hybrid which he will be able to attack both air and ground enemies. Itaha Bushi's passive Burning Carnage 2, he will apply Dark Flames into enemies burning by 12.5% of his damage per tick for 4 ticks. Damn! Alright, next unit is Dragon Emperor Hybrid. Kaido is one of the strongest hybrid units, especially he is hybrid on placement with an insane stats, passives, and ability at later upgrades. Dragon Emperor Hybrid stats at max upgrade and max level R. 8880 damage with his SPA at 7.38 seconds, making his damage per second at 1203.25, which is extremely good, especially he becomes full AoE at later upgrades. Dragon Emperor's Hybrid's first passive, Sea Emperor, his damage and range will increase by 0.5% each wave up to 5%, and his SPA will lessen by 0.5% each wave up to 5%. Dragon Emperor Hybrid's second passive, Dragon's Rail, reduces other units' special ability cooldown by 15%. At later upgrades, Dragon Emperor Hybrid will get an ability where he will be able to attack every enemy in his range and it is not a global cooldown which is extremely good. How to get Dragon Emperor is by defeating the Act 3 Legend Stage Fujishima Island and he is a 0.75% chance to get so I wish everyone good luck if you are going to be grinding for him. Okay next in is Pain Chibaku. Pain is one of the best support with his insane passive and he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies on placement in Anime Reborn. Pain Chibaku stats at max upgrade and max level R. 3370 damage with his SPA at 7.71 seconds making his damage per second at 437.09 which is considered bad but he has a great passive. Pain Chibaku passive Gravity Force 2 he will be able to stun enemies on every 4th attack which is an extremely good support passive. Alright next in is 21 Demon. Android 21 is one of the insane hill units with her insane passives and damage at later upgrades. 21 Demon stats at max upgrade and max of LR, 3620 damage with her SP at 5.9 seconds making her damage per second at 613.55 which is extremely good especially with her insane passives and AoE. 21 Demon's first passive, Natural Vision, 
21 will get 20% more range on placement. 21 Demon's second passive, Together We Shine. The first 10 units within 21's range gets 15% more range, which is an extremely good support buff passive. How to get 21 Demon is from the West City Legend Stage 2, where there is a 0.75% chance getting her, so good luck to everyone who is grinding for her. Okay, next one is Greybeard Sea Emperor. Whitebeard is one of the best hybrid unit with his awesome passives and he will become a full EOE at later upgrades. Greybeard Sea Emperor stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 3220 damage with his SP at 6.39 seconds making his damage per second at 503.91 which is extremely good especially he becomes full AOE at later upgrades with his great passives. Greybeard Sea Emperor first passive strongest man alive. Greybeard's damage will increase by 1% each wave up to 20%. Greybeard Sea Emperor second passive Tremor. After each 30 elimination, the next attack will stun the enemies. Alright, next one is Super Gohu Powered. Goku is one of the best heal units with this insane multi hit, which will be great against shield enemies. Super Gohu Powered stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 3810 damage with his SPA at 6.82 seconds, making his damage per second at 573.31, which is great, especially he has a great AoE. Super Gohu Powered Passive Overflowing Power 2, each attack against enemy in his range increases his damage by 1% up to 25%. Okay, next one is Lord Rimura. Rimuru is currently the rarest secret unit you can obtain and it became one of the strongest unit with its insane passives and ability at later upgrades. Lord Rimuru stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 9070 damage with its SPA at 5.88 seconds making his damage per second at 1542.51 which is extremely good. Lord Rimura's first passive, Soul Absorption, he gains 1% damage each 5 eliminations, up to 12% boost. Lord Rimura's second passive, Demon Lord, his SPA lessens by 1% each wave up to 7% and increases his damage by 2.5% for each special ability use up to 25% boost. Finally, the last unit is Oda Samurai. Oda Samurai is one of the best mythical unit with his insane passives, multi hit, and damage at later upgrades. Oda Samurai stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 4220 damage with its SP at 5.24 seconds, making his damage per second at 805.34. Oda Samurai's passive, Samurai Spirit 2, each friendly unit on his range increases his crit chance and crit damage 4%. Stacks up to 40%, which is extremely good. That was everything for this video on the top 10 Masab units in Anime Reborn. I hope this video helped you in some sort of way. Remember to subscribe and like, and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.